About 15 minutes ago, I got a phone call from Utah Animal Control calling to tell me that an officer had shot and killed my dog. He was inside the backyard in a fenced off area. What was the cause for an officer to shoot and kill my dog? I just arrived at my house. There's Utah Animal Control. And the officer's involved in killing my dog. Now I want to know who shot my dog and what the probable cause was to trespass on private property and kill my animal. Which officer shot my dog, please? He's not here. He left? He's not here. Okay, it's probably a good thing. What was the probable cause to trespass on private property and kill my dog? We were looking for a lost child. And that gives you probable cause to enter a private residence without permission from the owner. Sir, we'll provide a case number for you and document it. I okay, officer, can I get your name Sergeant. and Sergeant your police Sierra. officer number? Thank you. Sergeant Sear from the Salt Lake City Police Department. And the case number is 99228. Could you say that one more time? 99265. Yes. Right. The and your case, officer? The, the other the other case number is related to the missing child. Oh, the missing child. What's that one? 99228. Thank you. So what was the probable cause to kill my dog? Sir, did, probable did cause my... to kill an animal does not exist. Probable, probable cause is something... I'm asking why important. you guys went on my property and why he felt the need to kill my dog. Okay, I can explain the basic circumstances and that is that he, was, he entered the yard looking for a lost child. Uh, he was threatened by the dog, and he shot the dog. That's as simple as it gets. He was threatened by the dog. So backing up slowly and leaving the residence is not an option? Uh, we're going to give you a case number. Do you have any questions besides the ones you're asking? Right yes. Now? Can I have the officer's name and badge number that killed my dog? I don't have his badge number. It's his name, please? Officer Olson. Officer Olson. And is he with the Salt Lake City Police? Yes. Or is he with Unified Police? Okay, thank What's you. Name, My name is Sean Kendall. Okay. I am the owner and occupant of this residency. Is that S E A N? Yes, it is. Is it K E N? D A L L. What's your birthday, Sean? Is that relevant to the case? I'm going to be doing a, an amendment to the report. So you have my address and my name. That's yeah. adequate information. Thank you. What, what is your address here? Is it 2465? 2465 South, 1500 East. Do you have a phone number I can just put down? I do, but you can contact me through this residency. An officer is more than welcome to stop by. Do you have, do you have any phone number we can reach you at at all? I do, but I don't feel comfortable giving that at this time. Okay, that's fine. I'll write down the case number uh, on both. Would you want just the one case number? Both would be great because you will be hearing from me and my lawyer. And I understand it wasn't you personally, but you guys killed my dog. I've had this dog for three years. He was my best friend, and he was shot because an officer couldn't back the fuck up out of my house. Is that against policy? Is that against training? I don't understand what you're saying. I really don't understand. There's a problem with officers killing animals for no reason. You look online, it's everywhere. Did the officer at least have the decency to kill him in the first shot so he didn't suffer? Or do I have multiple gun wounds in what I consider my child? So I get to bury my dog because an officer couldn't back up and close the f***ing gate. Something's got to change. And I know it wasn't you, I'm sorry. I'm pissed. What happened was wrong. Right across the street, that dog has bitten two dogs and almost lunged at a little child. But nobody comes to do that. And then you kill my dog inside my house? Now I gotta bury him, clean the blood, and take care of my dog. Because an officer couldn't back up. I didn't have anything to do with this. I know, and I understand, uh, and, I, and, 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 and you have all the right to be living. Uh, this, is, this is the police department case number. Um, we're, we're just the mirrors of bad news. I know. And 
Yeah, I mentioned good thing on the floor. And, and, and um, I don't know, there's there's not words that could express, there, there's not words that could express. Well, I wasn't here, so there wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't I can't say it. I'm assuming we can read to you. Because it's running rampant. And not just Salt Lake, but everywhere. It's not, what can I do to deep escalate the situation? And, oh, I'm going to shoot this guy in his head. Nothing else could have been done. I understand he's an animal. But I've had him for almost three years. Well, here again, animals are unpredictable. I don't know the demeanor of your dog. Uh -huh. I don't know the demeanor of your dog. Um, and you guys don't go through dog training while they like, shoot the guy in the head? I have no idea. I can only assume because I've known him for three years. He growled at him, barked at him, okay, get the hell out of my land. Same thing anybody else would do if he was trying to walk into their house. But because he's an animal, it's not okay. So I'm shoots with animal control. Do you have any questions for you? Yeah, he may want some business for a while, folks. So I'm just here, place the camera by your steps. No, thank you. I'm just going to get there. I'm going to get there. I'm just going to I'm now inside my house. I just got done speaking with the officers. And as I walk to my back door, I see my dead dog lying on the ground. This is the gate that the officer most likely walked through. As you can see, there's a significant amount of distance between the gate and my dog. Why didn't the officer just back up and leave? Why did he feel the need to escalate the situation to a point where he had to shoot my dog in the head?